And tonight, Britain's Queen Elizabeth has broken her silence on the allegations of racism within the palace made by her grandson, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan. The statement was carefully worded on an issue that has rattled the royal family. CBS's Holly Williams reports from London. Buckingham Palace has finally responded, nearly two days after Harry and Meghan's incendiary interview aired in the U.S. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning, said the palace, a direct reference to Meghan's damaging allegation that at least one royal family member raised concerns about what colour their son's skin would be. If he were to brown, that that would be a problem. Are you saying that? I wasn't able to follow up with why, but that if that's the assumption you're making, I think that feels like a pretty safe one. Oprah said Harry told her it wasn't the Queen or her husband, Prince Philip. While some recollections may vary, they're taken very seriously, said the statement, and will be addressed by the family privately. But this is no normal family, and it's no longer a private matter. Over 12 million people watched the interview when it aired on television here last night in a country of around 70 million. The tabloid papers, as usual, lambasted Meghan and Harry today, but others in this multicultural nation have told us the racism they described is widespread. I think it's really unfair the way she was treated, but it represents how a lot of black people are treated. So. Will the palace's attempt at damage control be enough? They probably hope that it will give the public some reassurance that they're not just going to brush it under the carpet. The Queen's statement is just 61 words in response to a two-hour-long interview and some extraordinary accusations. One of many still unanswered questions is who in the royal family is alleged to have made the comments about skin colour. Nora. The Queen saying she is saddened. Holly Williams, thank you.